So if you were elected, uh, what would you change? Well, there are a number of things. First of all, uh, I would make the process of governing uh, more collaborative. I would open up. If I'm going to make decisions, for example, firing teachers, of uh, making trips overseas to promote the city, I would not do it in secret. I would not be heavy-handed about it. People don't like when you just make decisions and say, this is what's going to happen. So I'm going to be more open as far as the government itself and deal with people and get their input. But more specifically, and I know that may sound like a political answer, he's just saying and do things better with a gentler hand, which is important in this instance, but also I'm going to make businesses pay their fair share of, uh, of, uh, of, of inc revenue of taxes in this city. They're not doing it now. Uh, and I know that's, uh, that's, that's uh, all the corporations, the big corporations are getting away with a lot, but they are in the city. And the reason is obvious, they're paying off the mayor. Those are the people who are giving the mayor millions of dollars. Let's start uh, with your field, the Washington Post. Uh, the media uh, and the Washington Post as an example. They've got thousands of news boxes around the city of Washington. They don't pay a penny to the city for the use of that public space. In other cities, uh, publishers will pay to do that. And I, I propose that each box, whether it's owned by the Post or any other publication, US, you know, the, uh, USA Today, pay $10 per month, which is not a, a whole lot, per box for the space that they use, just like a parking space. That would generate millions and millions of dollars for the city. Figure it out. There are thousands and thousands of boxes. Uh, I also propose that the uh, war on drugs be done in a more serious way. Right now, it's a phony war. We uh, go out, we send the police to arrest people, to entrap people. I say we should deal with this in a medical way rather than in a law enforcement way. If we really hope to win this war, we have to let people know that you shouldn't use dangerous drugs or use them excessively, not because it's against the law. I mean, adultery is against the law in this city. I mean, if you look at the books, and it will get you incarcerated if anybody is stupid enough to enforce that law. Uh, jaywalking, you know, you can walk out on the street, you could see people who are not crossing with the light, all of them are breaking the law. But to get the police, to have a whole police department uh, section involved in enforcing those laws is wrong. And that's true with the drug laws. What we need to do is we need to say to the police, OK, hold off. If something really serious happens, there's shootings, there's really somebody's getting hurt. But otherwise, let's send in the medical people. Let's send in the people who, uh, the media people, who can inform the public about what is dangerous, what is not dangerous, and let's treat it less as a law enforcement or, uh, issue and more as a medical issue. And that, I believe, would reduce dangerous drug use, would reduce, uh, would redu re reduce uh, general uh, usage by people who, very young people who can't handle it. Um, right now, for example, cigarettes. You know, if a young person wants cigarettes, they have to go to, they know where to go, and they do a store, but they need identification, etc. But if you want drugs, you don't need any ID. You just go to your street corner supplier, and I mean, you just give the money, and you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. um, what else do I propose? I propose, having gone through this experience myself with ex-prisoners, we have, of course, the highest incarceration rate in this country. Uh, and, uh, <coughs> not a very uh, happy situation. But these people are all getting out of prison, as I did. And we need to give them some assistance. At the very least, we shouldn't put obstacles in their path. Right now, the uh, probation requirements are onerous. The, pr the requirements to register in certain categories, depending on one's offense, automatically puts people at a in a discriminatory posture. And I think we have to do more. I would set up an office uh, for people coming out of prison so that we can be of assistance rather than just give them probation officers who are going to generally uh, harass them or put them on various lists that will get them discriminated against. Give them bonding so that if they get a job, we can guarantee that they'll do the right thing. If they don't, well, you know, they're subject to new laws there. So these are among the platform, among the things in my platform that I want to do. Cool.